Don Roberts is lucky to be alive. No one ever thinks they're at risk for developing lung cancer. During a treatment for a kidney stone, doctors found a mass in his lung and were able to operate before the cancer spread. They would never have found it, and in all likelihood, I would not be here talking with you today. Breathe in. The CDC recommends people at high risk for the disease get screened with a low-dose CT scan. But even with regular screening, the most skilled radiologists can't spot everything. This looks normal to you. You Correct. don't see a cancer here. How often are we missing lung cancer diagnoses right now? Well, most people who get diagnosed with lung cancer unfortunately present with stage four metastatic disease because it has spread someplace that is causing them a pain or a symptom and then they go to their doctor. So we're missing most cases of early stage lung cancer when people don't have symptoms. The possibilities are limitless. Dr. Leisha Sequest is part of a team of doctors and engineers from Massachusetts General Hospital and MIT trying to revolutionize cancer detection. Meet Sybil, an artificial intelligence program, the name inspired by the oracles of ancient Greece. We developed Sybil, an algorithm that is able to tell who might be at risk for lung cancer one, three, five years down the road. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the U.S., killing more than 127,000 a year. The MassGen MIT study, using three sets of independent scans, found that Sybil could accurately predict whether a person will develop lung cancer in the next year, up to 94% of the time. There's an immense amount of data in a CAT scan, and we're only scratching the surface when we just look at it with our eyes. Usually a radiologist is looking for nodules or a mass, but Sybil has the power to look so closely at a CT scan that it can identify patterns of data associated with cancer even before a tumor appears. So this is AI in action. What do we see here? AI circled this area in red and said this area has a dangerous pattern. It looks like cancer might come up. Two years later, there's a cancer right in that same spot where the AI predicted it would be. That's not to say AI will replace radiologists, but the research team in Massachusetts believes Sybil's assistance is the future of the field. Is AI gonna save lives? Yes, it will save lives because it will enable us to do more, see more, and manage better than we did without AI. Clinical trials for Sybil are ongoing, FDA approval likely years away. And while doctors are still studying the technology, Don Roberts, who is now cancer-free, believes technology like Sybil could help him live longer. You need every weapon you can possibly get to combat cancer. And AI could be a powerful one. Absolutely. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Boston. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.